Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you so much for joining me here at the Galaxy with God of Notes. Welcome again my new and returning subscribers for all your energies on this channel. I really appreciate you all. Thank you so much for being a part of my journey where we can grow together. All right, I'm going to be doing a general reading um, for the collectives. Anything of spirit you would like us to know? What do you need us to know? Whatever comes out, let me know what you need to tell us, please. And thank you. All right, I have the chariot coming up in the reverse. Someone could be giving up, not being able to find their direction in life, feeling as if they are not moving. Feeling very powerless, feeling as if they are at a standstill and are roadblock in their life. They are losing direction, they are possibly losing focus. Yeah, and I also have the Eight of Wands, where someone wants to make an immediate action, but what happened? Someone wants to make a change from this. They're not able to move and they want to come forward, possibly with communication. They want, they want rapid change. They don't need something positive to be happening in their life. Oh, who is this spirit? What's happening here? What's happening here? Anything you need to know? Anything I need to know? What are we talking about? A king of wands. This king of wands is practically a born leader, natural born leader, very bold, very charming, could be a fire sign, I have a death, the chariot in the reverse, someone is stagnant, not able to move, they want to come in with fast communication, they're feeling that they're at a standstill, not able to move, they want a rapid change, this natural born leader, obviously this person is very ambitious, they want to move, but there's a death, of something and I have something with this death card so there's a big change is happening in their life it's time for them to move I have the ten of swords coming to verify the death something is completely done oh Lord what's done Holy Spirit someone the death the ten of swords clarifying the death I think as spirit, what's happening with this king of swords? What's happening with this king of swords? Sorry, this king of wands. Yeah, they're going through struggles. I'm not sure why. Lord of mercy. The negativity comes, starts. <laughs> yeah, the negativity starts. So someone, um, I have the king of wands. This person is normally very optimistic and they're able to take control of a situation. But at this point, there's something dying in their life or around them where they feel somehow defenseless. They're feeling exhausted. They're feeling like giving up. They're feeling like they can't go further. This person is feeling like they don't even want to be here. At the back of the deck, I have the King of Pentacles. There is person possibly with the Nine of Wands in the reverse. This person is maybe even having sleepless night where um, they're giving up from exhaustion. They're not able to uh, anything else for it? Anything else? Thank you. I have a seven of swords. Someone is really hmm This person was possibly a schemer. They tried to scheme behind someone's back. This king of wands was trying to scheme behind someone's back, trying to betray someone with the moon, with the moon card at the back of the deck. So they were secretly trying to defeat someone. Very dishonest, very sneaky, very, I mean, strategic in whatever they were doing. Anything else here, sorry? Or the seven of swords. I have the three of wands, the seven of swords, the three of three of wands, clarifying the seven of swords. Yeah, someone is um because of betrayal, someone is going into a new horizon. 
someone is moving with confidence, they're moving to somewhere new or into something new. With the King of Wands, what has to do with fire, enthusiasm, emotion, and um, drive. So this person has a drive to move forward because of some betrayal from this King of Wands. They can always switch the role because Tarot doesn't have gender, his energy. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else we need to see for this Three of Wands, Seven of Swords? Yeah. Someone is moving forward. And wherever they're going, they're going to see long-term success and result. They're going to be um, investing in something that's going to bring them a lot of fortune. A lot of pentacles. <laughs> pentacles. Okay. All right. Anything else? Good. Give me something on the chariot in the reverse. Chariot in the reverse. What's happening with the chariot in the reverse? I have the magician. So someone is not able to manifest with the um even though the clarifying the chariot in the reverse, I have the magician. So even though this person wants to manifest as an outcome with the chariot in the reverse, you're not able to do it. They're running out of vision, they're run, running out of um inspiration, they're running out of willpower. They're feeling as if they're not able to do anything because their power is not as strong as it should. Anything else? I think that's happening here. Three of three of pentacles. So this person could want to collaborate with someone or maybe work force or join force with someone. Who do they want to collaborate with? Sir? Hmm. I have the high priestess and the wheel of fortune so someone wants to join force with someone who they see as being very intuitive the divine feminine energy being here you're getting messages from a higher power you could be connecting um connecting somehow with your spirituality so you're listening to your inner voice now collective so this person wants to connect with you they want to collaborate with you and I have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse because they're looking at you as being very lucky and um, your karma is good. The universe is on your side and you're at a turning point in your life. So this person is looking at you as being very successful, obviously. And they're seeing you as being very intuitive. Can I find this High Priestess with the Wheel of Fortune, please? Wheel of Fortune and High Priestess. I have the Knight of Wands. So you're moving forward, collective. I have um, the Knight of Wands being very courageous. You're a charming person, collective, and you're very free-spirited, very possibly impulsive too. You have your own level of energy away from this King of Wands. You have your own energy. Okay. I have the Lovers. I have the Hermit and the Two of Cups. So this is a really strong connection that you share with this person. This person that could have made a choice as to um, deceive you or betray you somehow, but you are in a hermit mode now, so you have seen things in a better light with the, with the um, high priestess being here. You could be speaking with a Gemini. Uh, you could be dealing with a Gemini, a uh, um, Virgo. Who else we have? Gemini energy strong here. Cancer, fire sign, Scorpio. Okay, could be dealing with anybody. <laughs> All right, I have also someone is very free spirited, as I said before, with the page of with the, with the um page of one. Sorry, very young spirited. So you could be you could be even in a young spirit um collective or the person you're dealing with, and that's the reason they try to do to pull something behind your back. When you look at this card, this lady is actually hiding something behind her back, hiding of some sort. So you're you're possibly um I have uh, four of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah. Someone was very greedy. I have the king of pentacles over here. 
or someone who was away from that this person was possibly very greedy and insecure and somehow reckless with your energy and at the back of the deck i have the nine of swords so someone is going through sleepless nights possibly because of what they did to some to a, to a high priestess give me something with this two of cups knight of wands two of cups knight of wands two of cups knight of wands what do we need to see i have a ten of cups so this is this was supposed to this relation this two of cups relationship was supposed to be a very strong bond a very blissful relationship with this queen of cups coming out also as a high priestess at the back of the deck i have a queen of cups so this was supposed to be a very blissful relationship where you have harmony between two persons um emotional stability could be um here but something was laid to rest because of someone's sneaky behavior with the seven of swords being here. So I have death here with a ten of ten of swords. So I have both cards coming out immediately behind this queen of king of wands. And their chariot is in the reverse. So what's gonna be the outcome? Spirit, what's gonna be the outcome? The ace of wands came in the reverse. Someone is gonna be rejected blocked hmm why anything with this ace of wands in the reverse ace of wands in the reverse i have a seven of cups so someone because of their cloudy judgment with seven of cups being here someone is being blocked they have many options they are very Possibly, um, whatever they are searching for is just wish fulfillment, and they need to search for their purpose away from searching for these many cups. This person is living illusion. I had the back of this deck. I have the the three of swords. Heartache. Anything else to close the reading? I have the Knight of Pentacles. So this person wants to come in. With a knight, well, they're coming in as a knight, very slow but reliable in some way. But they have the sun in the river. Someone is temporarily feeling down, feeling like their happiness is blocked, feeling as if nothing is working on their behalf. Everything is just on the on the low. Anything else? Any what's the, what's um any guidance? Any guidance? For it? Ah, someone gonna be left in um nine of swords, anxiety, depression, sleepless nights. Let me see what the angels want to tell us. I I hate doing these apple readings. Okay. Um spirit, any guidance going forward? Any guidance? I'll take two cards. Any guidance going forward? Thank you. Ask for what you want. <laughs> Ask for what you want. This card says, let the universe and other people know what you need. Hmm. I got this card in a previous reading before. And I and, and from a different deck, I get the same card. Um, anything else? For one more card, please. Reading I did before this one. I have the sun, uh, S O N, not S U N, but S O N. Your your son is being watched over and protected as he explore his world. So you could have a son collective, or we are talking about a family member who is close to you, just like a son. But they are being protected. Nothing is gonna be happening with this person that's negative. I take one more card, please. One more. Something trips. Travel. An upcoming trip proves to be life changing in positive ways. So when I say um travel, 
it doesn't have to be traveling by boat bus train but you could be changing from one state to the next of course or you could be changing your old mindset leaving your old leaving your old self the old you behind move towards a new life a new outlook in life also so collectives thank you so much again for joining me here at the galaxy with god of notes peace i leave with you bye